Hi, what's up guys, it's Amon Work here and throughout the series of these screencasts, I'm gonna introduce you guys to a new node framework called Adonis.js. Now guys, Adonis.js is basically an MVC framework for Node and IOJS. And before we really dig into installing and playing with this framework, I'm gonna spend this screencast on installing Node.js and setting up a better and I would say flexible environment of Node. So guys, if we go to the documentation page of Adonis.js framework out here inside installation, we can see it is recommended to use NVM in order to manage different versions of Node.js and NPM on your machine. Now guys, the reason we really need a version manager for Node.js, so basically NBM is a Node version manager. Using NBM, you can maintain multiple versions of Node and IOJS for that matter on your system. Now the reason we need multiple versions is so that we can easily switch between them and we can make use of different functionalities which are shipped with different versions of Node.js. Now guys, in this episode, all we're really gonna do is we're going to install NVM, and after NVM, we're gonna install Node and NPM on our machine so that we are ready to go in order to install Adonis and make use of it. So, uh, out here on my actual machine, I have NVM installed, so if I say NVM, here you can see we can run all the commands which are shipped by NVM. So we are not going to make use of them right now. We are actually going to install them from scrap. So quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into a virtual machine using Vagrant. So I'm going to say Vagrant up, and it's going to actually set up a Ubuntu 64-bit machine for me right now. So if you will, if you will actually look at uh, look at my folder out here, I have a Vagrant file which actually going to set up a VM box for me, and it's going to actually download the box from this particular URL. Uh, I already have it downloaded, so it's not going to do it again for me right now. So out here, it's going to take a couple of uh, seconds or minutes in order to set up that box for me. Okay guys, so right now we have the Wagon box set up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to SSH into that particular machine. Okay, now I'm actually into my virtual machine, and if I say node v, it actually says node is not found, and I can actually use, you know, like sudo apt-get install if I really want to install it. So this is not something we're going to do right now. What we're really going to do is we are going to install NVM. So if I make a quick search out here for NVM, it says, it actually shows me a GitHub page. And it shows me different ways to install it on different operating systems. So I have a Ubuntu box. I'm going to make use of curl in order to install it. So I'm going to copy this entire uh, line of code. And guys, before I can actually install it, I need curl on the machine. So if I say curl, it actually says, uh, uh, I believe it's already installed. If I'm not wrong, yes, it's already installed on the machine. So I'm going to say curl and install it here. Boom, right now we have NPM. Now if I say NVM, and you can see it actually says it's not installed. The reason I have to actually source my profile. Now if I say NVM again, cool, we have it running on our machine. So let me clear it, and again say node version. And guys, again it says the same thing. The reason is we have installed NVM, which is actually the version manager of node. We haven't installed node so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say NVM LS remote, which actually means to list all the versions of uh, Node.js or IOJS which are available for install. Right now, if you will see, we have these versions for IOJS. If you really want, you can install the latest version of IOJS, which is 3.3.1, or you can grab the latest version of Node, which is 4.1.0. So I'm going to grab the latest version of Node, not IOJS. So I'm going to say NVM install uh, this particular version. It again going to take a couple of seconds out here. Okay guys, back again. Right now we have installed uh, the latest version that is 4.1.0 as of recording the screencast of Node. 
Uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to say npm ls. Now, ls and ls remote are different commands. ls remote is going to list all the versions of Node uh, which are available for download, and ls is going to list all the versions which are available on your machine right now. So, right now, we only have downloaded one version. So, I'm going to copy its name uh, here. I'm going to say npm alias default. Uh, I'm going to paste this version now. What we are really doing is we are setting up an alias named default for this version so that so that you really don't have to remember this 4.1.0 every time. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to say npm use default, which means we are going to use the latest version of Node. Now, if I say Node worry, which uh, it actually shows me the latest version of Node, and if I say npm we, it shows me the latest version of npm.